everyone. So where we are today is Brighton Beach, Brooklyn. So what is Brighton Beach known for? Brighton Beach is known to be um, a Russian community, right? Russian Ukrainian community. Um, it has one of the highest populations of Russian and Ukrainian immigrants in New York City, Brooklyn, and in the United States as a whole. Um, it's a little off the beaten path. It's about 40, 45 minutes from Manhattan, but it's well worth it. If you're interested in Russian culture, Russian restaurants, um, Russian, Russian clubs, things of that nature, um, this is where you want to go. How you get here is um, you take the, which is the train above us, uh, the B or Q train, and the B and Q train are both express. Um, you take that to Brighton Beach, that's the station that we just showed, um, and then it'll take you right under um, Brighton Beach Avenue, which is the main strip, right? So what we're gonna do on this uh, little tour is I'm gonna show you uh, some of the, we're gonna go under Brighton Beach Avenue, right? So I'm gonna show you the neighborhood, show you some of the businesses, uh, we're gonna learn a little bit more about the neighborhood, its history, and how it is today. So let's start. So here is a map of where we are. As you can see, here's Brighton Beach, right? So like I said, the, the BRQ train or, or Ocean Parkway, if you get off of Brighton Beach, um, very close to Coney Island. Here is a map of the area and the neighborhood. Um, it's very close to the beach and the ocean. So going off that, a little history about the neighborhood. Brighton Beach, um, you know, there's been some kind of development since the 16, 1700s, uh, you know, in the pre-colonial times. However, it really started to build up um, in the late 1870s, 1880s, when a, um, a resort was built here. There was a resort called Brighton Beach, uh, which is where the neighborhood gets its name. So it's all the way from the late 1800s, 1870s, 1880s about. And um, it was a resort that was built on the ocean. <clears throat> it was a hotel, you know, you could go water people came from all over the area um, but you stayed here right it wasn't really a permanent uh, neighborhood for residents it was more of a resort community kind of like if you go to an Atlantic City today for example um, so over time people started to come more and more often right and then once the uh, the elevated train here was built right so the B&Q train once that was built in about 1920, so it's about 102 years old, this train line here. Um, as you can see, very old, elevated. And even though it's 102 years old, everyone uses it to get around. Um, once that was built, people were able to actually live here, right? So you started getting um, full-time residents. You start, we wait for the train to go by. started getting people living here full-time right so the neighborhood really started to develop 
um, originally the neighborhood was um, a Jewish neighborhood, right? So it was um, a lot of first and generation Jewish Americans, right? Over time, that progressed and it started, the demographics changed. A lot of them moved to different areas. Um, and then in the 1970s, 1980s, um, after World War II, a lot of um, ex-Soviet immigrants made this their home. So let's continue the tour. I'll explain a little bit more as we go.
Okay, some interesting things to note. Three out of four people who live in Brighton Beach are not American born. So it has an immigrant population of three and four, 75%. Also, about 20 to 30% of people do not understand English whatsoever. So it has this very <coughs> immigrant population. Um, most Holocaust survivors from World War II live in Brighton Beach. About 50,000 as of 2012, you know, a lot of them may have died since then. Um, but that's another interesting thing to know. So it has a large Eastern European <coughs> immigrant Jewish population, as well as Soviet, you know, Russian Orthodox population. There you can get your Russian music. As you can notice, there's a lot of discount shopping around here too. Another thing that's interesting to note is that Brighton Beach has one of the oldest median ages in New York City. A lot of older people, you know, um, meaning, you know, people in their 60s and 70s. Why is that? Because a lot of them came as young 20s, 30 year olds um, around the 70s and 80s uh, to find a better life, you know, after the, the Soviet Union fell. Things were getting really crazy in the 80s with the Cold War and all of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> a lot of them came here. So at this, this point, you know, if they were younger adults then, you know, now they're 60, 70. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is uh, the park here. The park is cool to see. There's lots of people hanging out in it. Um, we're here on a Thursday afternoon around 2 p.m. So there should be some, a lot of people there. Um, well, as you can see too, the neighborhood's pretty densely populated. So a lot of larger buildings, you know, it's just six, seven unit buildings. Um, and uh, they also have kind of smaller private houses as well. The cool thing about Brighton Beach is, like I said before, it was a resort town, right? So you're right by the beach. So people come from all over to go to this beach. Um, it's a little clicky, you know, you kind of got to be Russian, um, but I mean, it's fine. Um, but it's near Coney Island, but it's much quieter and much calmer than Coney Island. And it's literally right over there, you know, the 
famous Coney Island, USA. So let's keep going. Check out the park over here. As you can see, it's pretty cool. It's pretty alive. It's a um, afternoon. You got a lot of older guys playing chess, playing cars. Uh, pretty lively place. It's interesting. So what we're gonna head now is we're gonna go to the boardwalk, which is an extension of the Coney Island boardwalk. So if we keep going, we would eventually end up um, in the famous Coney Island. Not gonna do that today. That's another video. Check that one out. But here we go. We're gonna go to the beach now. Here we are on the boardwalk. This is the Brighton Beach boardwalk. You see all the way down there, see the tall parachute? That's called the parachute jump. Uh, Cause back in the day, um, it was a ride. People actually used to jump off of that tower with parachutes. Um, then you can kind of see the uh, Ferris wheel over there as well. Like I said before, very densely populated. See, there's a lot of big apartment buildings right on the beach. So, a lot of what people do in um, Brighton Beach is uh, they just go to the beach. I mean, why not? You're right here. It's actually a beautiful summer day, so there, but it's the week, so it's gonna be quiet. But um, usually there's people out here hanging out. See it better now? There's Coney Island down there. Just a couple blocks away, maybe half a mile. And what's interesting about this beach is, you know, like I mentioned before, since three quarters of the population are not American born, you got a different vibe on the beach, right? So, <clears throat> see a lot of Speedos, sometimes even topless women, um, you know, because it's, they're, they're mirroring the, um, you know, the lifestyle they had in, in, in Russia. 
um, but it's definitely a very interesting place to check out. I mean, if you are interested in Russian culture, <coughs> Russian food, if you're Russian or Russian American, um, it's definitely somewhere you want to visit. It's a little off the beaten path, like I said, it's about 45 minutes from uh, Manhattan, but it's definitely worth the visit. If you want to kind of see some different things, see a different neighborhood, definitely recommend it. There's the train right there. Drops you off right by the beach. So, if you like this content, make sure you, you know, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any questions at all, I try to answer almost every question I have. Um, or if you have any tips or tricks for navigating Brighton Beach, you know, let us know. Uh, it's, it's kind of a community. People can learn from each other. Um, and until next time, guys. Bye.